Are you getting a Border Collie puppy? A very exciting time and something you definitely need to be doing is socializing them. But when should you start doing that? Well, we're here to help. Welcome back to the Fenrir Border Collie Show. My name's Joe and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. We are dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Border Collie and then how to become a high level canine leader so you can raise your very own. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. If you're bringing home a Border Collie puppy, something you need to do is socialize them. But when should you start doing that? Well, today we're going to be tuning into a webinar that the canine behaviorist and founder of Fenrir Canineleaders.com, Will, has recorded all about when you should start socializing your puppy. So guys, let's not waste any time and dive straight into this webinar as this is one of the, possibly the most asked question I get in relation to people just bringing their puppies home. And that is when they should start to socialize their puppy. So let's dive into it because there's an easy answer and then that answer has to be unreal a little bit and the easy answer is from the very second that you bring your puppy home now the easy comeback to that answer is but everything I read online and potentially even my vet says that I have to wait until my dog has had all of its jabs until I should start socializing now this is where worlds collide a little bit now I obviously come at this conversation and this topic from a, my role as a canine behaviorist I work with cases day to day with anything from separation anxiety full through to extreme aggression cases with dogs that have killed other dogs or mauled people so I am always drawn to any argument about how can I prevent these poor behaviors that I see day to day from happening when people bring their new puppy into their homes to get it right perfectly first time round. One of the best things that you can do is early socialization. Now I'm not going to delve into the complexities of puppy socialization development or puppy psychological development should I say but what I will say is very simply between eight to 12 weeks of age in a puppy's psychological development is one of the most crucial stages for socialization of that puppy. Now, when it comes to vaccinations in particular, most of them suggest that you shouldn't be taking your dog out until post 12 weeks and that window is gone. And when that window closes, you don't get that window back. So when I say that you should be socializing your puppy for him at day one, I absolutely mean that. However, you should absolutely be taking necessary precautions. Now, even people like the American Kennel Club and the, I forget the exact term, but it's the American Association for Veterinary something or other, are starting to now positively advocate for socializing puppies before they've completed their vaccination process, providing you're putting in common sense precautions to ensure that you're keeping your puppy safe. And I fall in a very similar position to that standpoint when we're talking about socializing your puppy. I absolutely think that you should do as much socialization as is physically possible whilst ensuring that your puppy is safe. Now, can we control absolutely every variable? No, we can't do that in life. Otherwise, we might need to wrap ourselves up in a uh, bubble room and never leave you might go out and unfortunately get run over by a bus yes your dog might go over and pick up a, a nasty disease now what we can do like not walking out into road in front of traffic without looking that's a good common sense precaution use the same common sense theories and principles when taking your puppies out to socialize them hey guys if you're having any kind of difficulty with your dogs and you wish their behavior would be as good as my perfect canine companions here are today i've got the perfect thing for you. I've got a completely free course called The Principles of Canine Behaviour. I created it. It's all about the things that I've learned from my experience and skill set as working as a professional canine behaviourist. There's tons in there about how you can modify bad behaviours and turn them into dream behaviours to have amazing dogs just like these. So if you are interested, it is completely free. There'll be a link in the description box below. I can't wait to see you over there. If you're going to meet other dogs, ensure that they're other dogs that have had their their vaccination protocols and they'll be absolutely fine so call up your friends and family that have dogs as long as they've had their vaccinations and they're fully up to date get that puppy socialized with other dogs if you're going to take them to places can you carry them a lot of socialization is around eyesight and sound getting them used to the smell the sight and the sounds of different places 
different environmental stimuli as possible. They don't always have to be walking to achieve that. You can carry them around a supermarket and that's incredible levels of socialization. Many pet stores will allow you to do the same thing. If you pre-call a vet, don't just turn up. You can ask them nicely, is they a good time to turn up and do a bit of socialization at the veterinary practice? And again, you can use a bit of common sense to get your puppy socialized as early as possible whilst ensuring that you are keeping them as safe as you can, especially until they've had all of their vaccinations. So that's my stance on the subject. I hope it helped. If you want more information, you can subscribe to this channel. We've got loads more videos about not only things like socialization or training or the facts and information about all these incredible breeds, but there's some tips and tricks around how to actually socialize your dog effectively, as well as tons of other things. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't only give it a thumbs up, but subscribe, because that way I can see you right here on the next episode.